And I would say, if you've never been to this Grand Prix before here in Lommel, get yourself over here, book yourself a weekend, especially if you've got the Czech Grand Prix like we had a week ago. Now you see the, the crowd in the background. This, this place is absolutely full. Uh, and the weather's been phenomenal. It's yeah. been just a banner weekend as far as all the way across the board. And I was going to say, like at the end of the race, when there's no work to be done on the track, go and have a walk around the track, and you will see what a minefield this place is. Because TV flattens everything out. You're looking at that going, ah, that track, that's yeah, not that rough. But it is an absolute hole, you know, to deal with, a hell hole for the riders. It's yeah. challenging, it's demanding physically, both on the machine and the motor, uh, and on the, uh, the body. But, Pevra getting closer, cuts to the inside, gets alongside, and he does move into third, or does he? Geiser hanging on in there. But it's only a matter of time, surely, and he does find his way by and into third place. But Geiser, once again, from out of nowhere, he was just a little bit defensive and a bit tentative, and Roman Fevre just pulls a tear off there. Is he just thrown in the towel? Or is he just taking a breather? Yeah, that was a big commitment from Geyser coming from the outside there. I, I, you know, it's a little deceiving from the angle we're looking at there, but he's showing some fight. Had that been race one, he may have just let him say, you know what, you take it. But this is race two. He knows he can't afford to lose more points. Two more if uh, Fevre goes by. Yep. That shows you how much he's ready to fight for this championship as well. He might not be fighting for the Grand Prix victory, but he is fighting for those World Championship well, points. And you wonder if any of the injury stuff plays into Geyser's head. It, it, you know, he, he may be thinking Fevre's not all the way back fitness-wise. He's still working to get there. He almost went down there. Geyser, he looked like he folded the front. <laughs> but oh. I just wonder if he's saying, if I could just hang in there and hang in there, Fevre won't be strong enough at the end, right? And, and Watch we'll see this here. Tucks down on the inside, oh. gets a kick, yeah. and missed the line. And you know what? That is pure strength right there that kept him up. Yeah. And that first kick, as you mentioned, is what starts that whole chain reaction. Gets off balance, the front tire pushes past the rut, and he did everything possible to catch it. Very, very uh, fortunate to stay up there, but that's not luck, Todd. <laughs> Fevra this time gets alongside Geiser, who does yield at the end of the straight.